Hi there, fellow Minecrafters. Welcome to this Minecraft video here on the channel. And within this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to do like animated text displays in Minecraft. So I have a text display entity to the side of me here. And using a particular time interval, we are actually modifying the text so that it changes color and styling as well. So we're changing it so that it goes from yellow to green, but also we're changing if it's underlined or not underlined. So you can see we are swapping between two particular states. So I'm not going to focus in this tutorial on how to actually summon these text displays into the world that much, uh, because I have done tutorials on those before. If you want to know how to make colored display text entities and apply styling like bold, underlined and so on. I'll leave a tutorial in as a pinned comment on this video so you can check that out. I'm just going to be focusing on how to modify an existing text display like this one right here. So you can see we have a redstone clock system here and we have two command blocks. So one of the command blocks does the yellow text and the other one does the green text. And all it's really doing is modifying the data inside that text display right there. So you can see on either side of the clock circuit, the delay is exactly the same on each side. So that makes sure that I guess the period or the the actual time that each one is shown actually changes. But uh, technically, you could make this, you know, not just two stages, but you could do three, you could do four, you could even do 10 if you really wanted to. I'm just using only two states in this clock here. So we are actually using a data modify entity command to change the text data inside of this display. So that is going to be the main thing I'm teaching you in this video here. I'm in Minecraft 1.21.4 and I'm on the Java edition and hopefully this will work in upcoming updates and stuff like that. If it does change, I'll either update the pinned comment on this video or do a completely new tutorial if it changes a lot in the future. Now, one thing I should make you aware of as well is that this particular text display right here has a certain tag applied to it. So it has a special tag that I have named animated text. And this is very useful when it comes to targeting it with commands and also killing it and removing it and so on as well. So I would urge you to tag your text displays. I'm going to show you how to do that when we look at the commands here. But uh, it's pretty straightforward, a pretty straightforward circuit. So I'm now going to show you the commands I am using here. And also, I guess, the data modify procedure we're actually using in a text editor so I can show you it in more detail. All right, everyone, we've got three commands to show you in this video here, and I would urge you to watch this part so you get to understand how this all works and so on. But uh, I will also put these commands in the description of the video as well. But the first command just shows you how to summon the initial text display in the first place because data modify commands do not work unless there's an existing entity in the in the first place. So. This is a pretty standard text display command. And as I said, I've already done a tutorial on this. Check the tutorial in the pinned comment if you want to see more about this. But there are a few things I'm going to go through in this command here, one of which is billboard center. So this is a setting you can do on the text display that makes it always face the player. You might have noticed that if I was going around the text, it was always facing me no matter where I was. Well, that is what allows you to do that. I've also set the default background to one. So this makes sure that the text has a very slight, like low alpha background. And I think it's the same uh, styling or the same low alpha color that's used in the chat. And we're also applying the animated text tag that I mentioned a moment ago. So that's that there. And then these two commands are the what are used by the redstone clock in general. So 
This is a data modify entity command. So we're using at E, which is all entities, and we're using a tag to filter out the animated text entity we have just created. And we're also using limit one so that it only finds one entity in this search. And we are altering or modifying the text data inside of the text display. And we are setting it to a value. And you can see here, we are actually providing some text data to modify it too. So we're doing, in this case, we've got yellow text with a yellow hexadecimal color code, and we are setting bold to true. And it's exactly the same in this other command here, but we're doing green text instead using a green hexadecimal color code, and we are doing bold true underline true. So that allows the text display to animate, change color, and change styling pretty much with this little system here. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching this tutorial. As you can imagine, you can make this a lot more elaborate and a lot more complex. I'm just keeping it simple for the tutorial, but if you did learn something new and you want to support the channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It'd be very much appreciated. And make sure that you hit the bell so you're notified of new videos here on the channel. If you want to follow my socials, they're on screen and in the description. And if there's any other tutorials you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I may do it for a future video. But stay happy and healthy, everyone. Hopefully this helps you out with what you were wanting to do with creative projects or whatever you're doing. See you in the next video.